Hey everyone, Nicola Russell, Remembrance Into The Light. Let me just move my beautiful microphone out of the way. Beautiful thing. I um, wanted to come on and talk about this particular subject, about healing. So um, it's quite interesting for all of us to actually understand the differences between in-person and um, distant healing, regardless if it's on a Zoom call or whether it's done um, absently. I wanted to just sort of talk through all of those sort of things. If you're sort of contemplating having a healing or are a healer, this information will be sort of very useful for you. Now, if we actually look at the quantum field, everything happens in the now moment. In this now moment here, everything happens. This is a little nugget of now. Along the now moment, there is this line of experience. So we experience here to this point here, whatever it may be. There is something that happens, a cycle, an experience, a lifetime, um, whatever it may be. There is, a, there is a period of time from here to here, a beginning and an end, okay? We begin and end that. Regardless of whether you are actually in this nugget of now moment, okay, or whether you're in another now nugget of moment here, or another now nugget of moment here, you can tap into those nuggets, <laughs> those now moments, and allow yourself to pinpoint yourself here, here and here. So we know that we can go back into a past life, we can go forward with a potential um, um, probability in, on a timeline. So if this is the information here that we can go into the nows and adjust it, it means then that if we can actually travel through to all time and space, we can also travel and bring the soul to us in individuality, okay? We can go in, so let's reiterate that because that does sound a little bit like a bit too much. Okay, let me get the right words for you. Wait a minute. Just consult the higher self. Now, Da, ya makudia subakia na makia ton pokoro subakia na arasikia and arasia na kia tandara sha. This is the word I want, isn't it? Quantum. So if we go all time and space, right? So they're just just helping me out here. So this is all time in the nows, forward and backwards. We have the now moment. That's the time, so quantum, time, space. Space, here, distant or in person. Doesn't matter where you are, what time, in time and space, you can get a correction of an energy. So we're looking at energy healing here. We could correct energy through all time and space. If somebody is actually laying on a bed in front of you on a couch and you're doing healing there, it's exactly the same as healing somebody in a time pocket of now on a video, on a transmission, and also um, in the location that they're in. It's all time and space, no matter where they are. They could be in Australia, you could be in England. It doesn't matter. The actual quantum field of where you're working is exactly the same. You're bringing that template, that layer of information forward into your reality where you can then download and sort it all out. It's like a, it's like a video. If you're watching a film on Netflix, the, the, it's all uploaded into a space and time, but you can actually draw that video in that um, film and watch it on Netflix if you're in Australia, London or or New York. You just download that that film and utilize that film through the screen. You bring it to you. It was recorded like years ago. It's years ago. But you can bring it forward. It might be made in New York. Downloaded in New York. But you bring it forward and you can watch it two years later on Netflix. There. You have access to that time pocket, that information. 
exactly the same as when you go into healing, when you're working in the quantum field. You can bring that information, just like your video on Netflix, just watch it. You just watch it in that time. So you can work through all time, backwards and forwards, depending obviously on your tra trajectory. Um, and also space. That, that analogy is quite good, actually. It's made me think, actually, that's a really good analogy. <laughs> I was talking to Pipey the other day. He said, oh, can you, can you say that without an analogy? I'm like, no, I cannot. I cannot speak without an analogy nowadays. It all has to be sort of like that. But it actually, it's really good in my mind because I understand it a little bit deeper. So, yeah, just think of it like you're just going to be watching a film two years ago, made in somewhere. <laughs> okay. Right, It's really interesting actually that when you look at that person when they are there in the quantum field that you're connecting with is that what happens is as you, you feel them um so this would be useful for healers out there that are not quite sort of working online yet, is that you feel them there in front of you the very first part of um, my journey with doing distant healing i was all a little bit skeptical about it because i think well, how can that be he can't you know so distant healing so what i did it's a little tip if you're new to distant healing is i could imagine there's then my person laying on the bed right all comfy cozy they're laying on the bed yay they're laying on the bed it sort of looks like more like a <laughs> it looks more like a bucket. Um, anyway, they're laying on the bed, so this is a bed. Um, and if I was there in person, gosh, my hands would go out, and then I would like do my beaming bits, and I'd be like, ah, and the energy would be coming out like this. Right? That's in person, and you're doing your healing there on the head, and it's going like, whoa, it's beautiful beautiful and the energy's being released and it's lovely okay that's in person grounding your energy in you're in person doing that with somebody's physical body in front of you when you're going in and doing the distant healing you the first thing that i did was go to the bed and but imagine that the person's on the bed and what i did is that um i pictured that person laying down on the bed Imagine the head was there on the pillow and the feet was at the end, but the person wasn't on the bed. They were laying on their bed in number 22 Dean Street, yeah? Um, I don't know why I said that. Somebody might be laying on their bed in 22 Dean Street. Anyway, so they're laying on their bed because you've arranged a time for you to go into their energy. And then what you do is then you connect with their energy you imagine that they're laying on the bed and you could even picture them actually laying there where you actually move down on the body and it's exactly the same so i suggest if you're new to healing to try that technique at first because that really actually changed things for me and then what happened was is as i evolved i then got used to the idea of having somebody like this laying on the bed but then i thought to myself about shrinking them so rather than them being that size i actually made them this size so i got them and i put them on like a platform and then there's the head at the top there's the shoulders down there's the feet and then you can shine your light place the energy where you want to so if your hands on definitely imagine that you're placing the hands on the person in front of you it's exactly the same thing you're bringing the energy signature of that person into your reality and you're enabling yourself to shine that light within it. So you could shrink them down. They do that a lot with pranic pra um, practices. Um, uh, you can sort of turn them backwards and frontwards. You don't have to get them to turn over on the bed. Some people would, would turn them over so they've got to move and move around. No, energetically, just work them. Put them on a little platform and turn them round like a little doll actually i spoke to somebody before as well and they actually literally would would do um do the healing on a uh, a figurine and see it and then work that so have a physical figurine um bit like voodoo really isn't it 
but you're working towards the light. I always think that. Could you imagine if you've got like um, ill intent? If you're sending all this beautiful light to somebody, this is how, you know, all of these sort of things sort of could potentially occur. So always be on the good side of your healer. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> but we're working towards the light. So there's no ill intention, especially in my energetic field. I'm, I can't sort of speak for others, but in my in my in my world anyway i would not send any negative energy energy anywhere anywhere might have done in a past life i can't vouch for that but in this lifetime i'm working towards the light um so quantum energy healing then just be aware of that distant healing is absolutely as beautiful as in person this is um this is like really good to start off with as healers but then we can then go in here and then it gives us a, a bit ability to work online um, and, you know, sort of do Zoom calls and um, all of that good, good stuff. So it broadens you out to um, reach more people as well. Um, the other thing is that when I do transmissions, then the now moment is in that frame of um, transmission. The codes can be accessed just like the video on Netflix can be accessed at eight o'clock on a Saturday evening with a nice cup of tea and a biscuit. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do with your healing um, or if you want to go through a healing process, is just know that you can access the energetic field through all time and space. Okay, and when you're going to do a bit of self healing, just know that that you can go through all time and space also. So I want to do a little video on that just to sort of keep you sort of um, in the loop of um, quantum energy healing. Um, I have got a, <laughs> I always say it, but I, I just want to just share with you that I do have a course which is the quantum energy and sound healing course on Star CG. And that takes you through all of those concepts of breath, energy work. There are prerequisite courses, so go check that um, that out. You can either do it without mentoring, and there's also the facility of having one-to-one -one sessions with me as well within that um, there. So if you do want to become a, um, a quantum energy and sound healer, then um, check that course out on Star CG. Or I'll put the link below if you want to have a tap into that. Um, I do have spaces for mentoring as well if, if, um, if anybody's interested in that to really sort of increase their availability to work online as a, um, as a distant um, and also indeed absent healer. Um, that's a sort of another subject in itself but distant healing via Zoom and in person, absolutely fabulous, absolutely fabulous, exactly the same, you're working in the quantum field. So check out all the links below as I just said. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Just know that with all of this, you can do this as uh, a, your own self-healing as well as actually going to a, 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 to a practitioner. Um, I do work one-to-ones if you want to connect with me, and there are many, many people out there that do also, but if you're drawn to me, I'm here. I'm your girl. Okay, take care, everyone, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.